Now, I'm sure if you've been playing any competitive team-based game that you've probably met your fair share of toxic people, but how many times have you been challenged to a 1v1? 1v1 me, you coward! 1v1 me! 1v1 me! Let's see what you really got, you coward! You... You coward, you! You swine, you! So last night, I was playing some DVD. I was just practicing some uh, killers that I don't really play a whole lot of. Uh, I was practicing some Blight. Trying to get better with my Blight gameplay. And uh, we... I met, uh, well, a very toxic individual. Uh, I was playing on Midwitch. And basically, the entire conversation went something like this. Too easy! Too easy! Well, actually, you know, you guys, you didn't really do that good. And, and you know, they, they barely escaped. They barely escaped. And, um, I guess they didn't really like that. Uh, they were, you know, hit me with the, the old 1v1 me! 1v1 me, you coward! So, I happily said, okay, let's go! Let's do it! So, I said, okay. And I, uh, you know, I played as uh, Pyramid Head, which is my best killer by far. Um, I have sunk many, many, many hours into Pyramid Head. Um, I, I don't claim to be the best Pyramid Head player on the planet, um, but I do think that I can hold my own. I definitely think that I'm uh, cut above the average uh, Pyramid Head player. Um, we did get a 32 win streak on him while the the boon meta was you know pretty fresh and 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 going strong and uh even Ots Darva himself gave me props I had to go back and that bought me enough time he wins on pyramid head less than three hi uh blue dream 32 what the fuck 32 wins on the on the current uh that's really impressive dude wow so yeah, we're uh, we're just gonna check out that whole shenanigans, and uh, I'm gonna break it down for you guys. And um, yeah, basically, uh, I think it'll be a good learning experience. And uh, so I swap on Pyramid Head. I take in the uh, Burning Man painting and the um, Wax Doll. Both of these add-ons uh, increase the range of uh, Pyramid Head's. Uh, M2 attack, Punishment of the Damned. I told him, uh, meet at Shack. When I swing, we start. So here we go. Uh, we load in on Eerie of Crows. Uh, typically, you'd want to go to um, Coal Tower, uh, something like that. Um, but given the fact that Given the fact that I knew for a fact that this guy wasn't as good as he thinks he was, I was like, you pick the map. You pick the map, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, I I knew this wasn't going to go good for this gentleman. So I was like, all right, we can go to any map you want. Whatever map you want, big boy. Uh, so he picked Eerie of Crows. And uh, yeah, this is how it went. Begin. Okay, so he immediately chases underway, and I'm being pretty cautious here. I could have I could have taken a shot there, but I wanted to see what he could do. So now, so now we've gone an entire rotation around Shack. Not once, even with uh, my sword down, did he did I see him kind of go like this, you know? Um, he did not, uh, you know, attempt to vary up his movements at all. He went the long way around Shaq as well. And so I took note of that. And that, within the first, uh, within the first little, like, 10 seconds, I've already gathered enough information on, on how he's going to play. Uh, which is not, you know, which is, which is vital. Uh, so... Just within that first rotation of Shaq, I've already gathered quite a bit of information on uh, how he's playing. And this is another big thing, too. Look at this right here. Notice how he is avoiding the trails. If you're in a 1v1, just, just go through the trails. Like, just go through the trails. Because it, it's only going to matter when I down you. And when I down you, the 1v1 is over. Then we look at the time. 
Uh, so <laughs> this is <laughs> this is him avoiding my trails really doesn't do a lot for him. <laughs> like it's not it's 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 just granting me uh more time to close in on him uh so <laughs> yeah this is also a, as soon as i saw him do this i was like okay all right yeah there you go so he avoids my trails and we get an m1 okay easy m1 all right then he's going around again again he's avoiding my trails vaults down so that was about so 31 seconds but uh let's see how uh let's see how the hot shot reacts <laughs> so we leave because you know after the down that's that's it you know we we move on say 32 seconds and he says vega go so he wanted his buddy to tag in and he says I'm lagging on your house, so he's he's already making excuses, man. He's already making excuses, and, <laughs> and I'm just man at this point, man. I'm just I'm just eating this up, like I'm just laughing away, like I'm just like, <laughs> like however you guys want to do this, man. Like however you want to do it, we we can run it up any way you want. It's gonna go about the same. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'll give you guys three chances. And his buddy says, you guys got two more rounds. <laughs> I was like, give you a chance to get comfy. He says, weird map, I don't know, but I got you this time. Bet on that. Bet on that. <laughs> so he's still, he's still, after that, <laughs> after that, like, embarrassing chase. But he's still, he's still got the blood pumping a little bit, you know, he's like, weird map i don't know how it's weird like we're just at shack like it's the only difference between eerie of crows shack and fucking you know any other shack is that eerie of crows shack is made of fucking stone that's the only that's the only difference there's like a coffin in there or something like you know like that's the only difference <laughs> but you know he's still feeling he's still feeling the still feeling that alpha gamer fucking juice so okay I'm like, all right, I believe in you. <laughs> like, I believe in you. And he responds with, nah, I believe in you. <laughs> and so here we go. Uh, second chase uh, underway here. I get my timer set up. And begin. Okay. So same kind of pathing he takes here. Early hit. Because I knew he was just going to vault. He's a vaulter. He's, he's not going to fake it. He's just going to vault every time. So I took the swing. And we get that early first hit. And if I had a bit more juice there, I would have been able to catch him in the doorway. So he gets the dead hard. And if he didn't have that dead hard, man. Okay. Bam. Done. Look. <laughs> so even less time. 27 seconds it was 27 seconds so even less time that time he should have learned from the last chase um he managed to dead hard this time uh but uh even less time with the dead hard too i think it would have been about like yeah so it would have been 22 seconds if we hit him where he dead hearted so like geez louise man I'm just, I'm just, I'm loving this, man. I'm loving this. I, I didn't even know that that was shorter. I didn't even know that that was less time. But you did better. I thought, <laughs> I thought he did, like, he did do a little bit better because he got the dead heart off. But technically, he did, he did worse. He did worse because it was 32 seconds before. Um, because I was feeling him out. And then, and then 27 seconds. <laughs> so... And then he says, Pyramid Head is my worst killer in all fairness. And it's like, okay, alright. But, you know, in the match that we were playing as, which, I again, I don't have the footage for, he was literally saying that he was a god. Like, he was literally saying that he was a god at this game. Uh, because I said that he's not as good as he thinks he is, and he was just like, I'm a god at this game. 1v1. 
<laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, like, all right. Uh, so they're asking, wait, so wait, he has to stay at Shaq or can he go anywhere? He says, so I don't feel too bad. Which is interesting because these guys wanted to 1v1 so bad, but they didn't even like, they don't even really understand like how 1v1s work. Because they know nah, we just started Shaq. He can go anywhere though after we start. At least that's how I've always 1v1. And he's like, I didn't know that. Bruh, rematch. Reemtack. <laughs> Reemtack. <laughs> I'm like, all right, let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> so he's feeling confident. He's like, okay, I didn't like he didn't know that he could leave Shaq. So we run it up again. So here we go. Back at Shaq. Uh yeah. Um so so he understands now that he can leave Shaq, which is vital information. I I again like I don't really understand why they didn't realize that you could do that. Um, like, it's kind of odd, but yeah, uh, here we go. And this one is a little bit better. I, th I think he, he definitely gets a better time this, this one. So here we go and begin third chase underway. All right. So he again is, uh, going the long way around Shaq. And I, like, I, I don't know why I took a back step there. That was weird. I take a shot there. Get the first hit. Juicy. Juicy. And because of the, uh, him stepping through the trails, I can tell that he is leaving Shaq. So we go, we go this way. Bam. And I thought he would have went left. So I took an early shot left and... Kind of little fumble there because I didn't know what he was doing. So he goes back to Shaq. Go through here. Goes the long way. I take the shot and down. <laughs> so he definitely did better. Um, he, he definitely did better. Uh, but... It wasn't even because of, like, his skill. Like, he was literally just holding W. The only reason that he did better was because of my kind of fumbles there. Like, I, I fumbled in the beginning. Like, I backstep kind of a little bit of awkwardness from my part. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not... So, let's get the time for that. So, that's, like, that's like 55 seconds. That's, that's way better. That's way better. But, again, that's only because of my blunders like you know him like he he left Shaq and and you know if he stayed at Shaq it would have been a bit sooner obviously but uh yeah it, like so he did better but that was again just because of my blunders like he didn't even really switch anything up too much like you know that shot he very easily could have dodged and let's let's look at that so okay so he should have you know Right there, uh, he he could have heard me, and right there he could have went backwards. Right, um, that's one of the biggest things uh, that that you can do against Pyramid Head is just unpredictable movement. As soon as he puts his sword in the ground, you want to listen because as soon as you hear that whoosh, that's when you want to kind of switch up directions and kind of be a bit more unpredictable. Right. And he wasn't doing any of that, so yeah. Um, and I even give him props too. I was like, much better, much better that time. His buddy says GGs, and even he he says GGs. He says GGs. <laughs> so he kind of got humbled a little bit. Uh, so he wanted to let his friend go, and I was like, all right. I don't know why it was censoring his name, but I was like, all right, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Notice how there's none of that hot shot mentality anymore. There's none of that, like, I'm a god at the game mentality anymore. It's just kind of like, yeah, GG's. Yeah, GG's. <laughs> it's like... uh, so his friend wants to take a turn, and he says, well, I wasn't trash talking, but I can play you for fun. And I'm like, yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, let's let's run it up. Um, I was like, yeah, all good. We chilling. But this is where it gets really interesting. His friend is like the anime, the anime side character who's like, you don't know anything about him, but he's really powerful, and he kind of steps into the stage and is like, Alright, 
let me have a turn because his friend is actually really good and i want to analyze and we can kind of compare the difference between the first guy who was toxic and this guy who is more experienced and is actually like he actually was really kind and 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 respectful to me so i want to analyze like the difference here i want to show you guys this because this guy actually knows what he's doing this guy actually can dance with a pyramid head quite well uh so here we go waiting on me i'm setting up my timer here and begin okay so first chase underway it brings me around and he fakes that he fakes it i wait for him because i didn't know if he was going to drop or not i body block the pallet so so much that that in that first exchange there was so much that i learned about him a lot that i learned Number one, he went towards the window and immediately, like, that was a fake. It wasn't a great fake because he, he, uh, so let's go back a bit here. So, I'm expecting him to vault. I put my sword in the ground because I'm expecting him to vault, right? And he goes towards the window and he, he, he goes early. I think he assumed that I was going to shoot early. And, uh, and so here we go. But pay attention because he, he goes through. And I stopped because I, I needed to see if he was going to drop or if he was going to keep going, right? And he was going was trying to see if I would shoot early, if I would wait, what I was going to do. So this was a feeling out process for both of us. So he goes through and he kind of looks back and he's waiting on me and I'm waiting on him. And so he, go he takes a step forward. So I come through. And he goes around hoping to get the pallets done, but I pinch, I pinch him in there and body block him. It doesn't seem like much, but th this is actually like wild. Like, cause we both learned a lot about each other in this first exchange. Um, <laughs> so it's, I, I managed to just block that pallet with my big juicy pyramid head thighs and fucking a like oh fuck so we get the m1 and uh he runs into a rock and, and here we go and he dead hards i think that would he might have been safe actually let's see i think he would have been safe if he just kind of went stuck to the left i think he would have been safe you can kind of see like the the barbed wire stuff coming up like right there. I think if he just clung to that, but he dead hards anyway. So, uh, he, uh, he gets distance and here we go. This is another, like, so look at that. See that he just faked the vault here. And this is what you totally want to be doing against a pyramid head. This is like big brain anti pyramid head stuff here. So he goes, he, he runs straight at the window. And what does that cause me to do? Put my sword down. That causes me to hold M2 because I don't know if he's going to do it or not. Right? And he doesn't. So that was a waste for me. I take a shot and you see, you can't, you just see him. Look at this. So I take the shot. And you see him there. Unpredictable movement. Right? Because he heard me. He heard me. He heard the whoosh, the whoosh. Once you hear the whoosh, you have like a split second to move out of the way. So he heard the whoosh and he moved out of the way. So very good on his part. Like he definitely knew what he was doing. And we come over here. Bada bing, bada boom. And he's just, he's being very unpredictable. He vaults that. I kind of hurt him that way a little bit. And then I think we, and, and again, like huge, huge, dude. This is what you want to be doing. So he, he's going through here. I think I, I, you know, if, if he holds W, that's a hit for me. Right. And I test him, I test him with it. I'm like, 
You know, if he held W, that would have been a hit. But he heard the whoosh, and he moved out of the way. Good stuff. But then he, <laughs> but then he kind of runs into me, and that's the end of that chase. Uh, so like you can just see the difference in in players. You know, if you just kind of like you got to switch up your strategy a little bit for pyramid head you you have to be like really mind game and and fake a lot more and and be unpredictable with your movements and and that's what we saw um so yeah no huge huge contrast in the ability of, of these two guys and i immediately give him props i'm like nice dude like that was sweet like that was that was good shit great fakes um uh, said hell yeah you know what to do against a pea head but like, yeah you know what to do he didn't <laughs> so i say uh you still want to do one more and he says nah man i gotta farm some bps uh but ggs for sure you played well and i say well i appreciate the fun you too and and you know we just nothing but respect man nothing but respect and he says i wish you were uh sweat blight or huntress because I need the practice. We talk about Huntress a little bit. And uh, I was like, you know, I can do a pretty good Huntress. I'm getting better with Blight. But, uh, you know, we talk about the wind streaks and stuff. And uh, and nothing but respect. And, and you know, like, that's that's the type of player, man. Like, you know, if when you're actually good, like, you you give credit where it's due, you know. like And, and we had nothing but respect for each other. And, and that's the kind of thing that I really like to see you know is is people who who have respect and and are being respectful and and uh and i say well i'll add you up and if you ever want to practice again just let me know and he's like yeah sure and <laughs> and the first guy the k left they left <laughs> they said nothing to me and they just they left it was so funny oh my god it's just so funny because they they got humbled and they saw me and his friend uh just being respectful to each other and and they just left they were like man screw this screw this respectfulness <laughs> and they just left um so yeah that's about it um so yeah uh interesting stuff um you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe. It goes a long way for me. And uh, be sure to check out the Twitch channel. Go live just uh, just about every day, uh, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, yeah. So yeah. Peace.